When I first heard about the 90s gala event, I stayed awake all night trying to figure out some way that I could manage to secretly sneak into the Jefferson to see all of you. Since the realization finally hit me about 5 a.m. that night that I couldn't successfully hide my body behind a column or drop my cane and dive under a table or even get up from under that table, I gave up on my dream of being with you last Saturday night. And then, out of the blue, my prayers were answered when Graham Rashkin told me that he and Ainsley Rose, the dedicated co-chairs of the wonderful 90s event, wanted me to be the honorary chairperson. I came as close to being able to jump for joy as I have in 10 years. While the students of the 80s and the students from 2000 to 2011 are so very dear to me, you are my special darlings. Many of you were my son Tad's friends, and the rest of you, aware of our loss of Tad when you arrived at RMC, also gave me never-ending love and constant encouragement. You, my students of the 90s, were the life supports of the Dupree's family, Rob, Rand, and me. And you, the students of the 90s, are primarily responsible for the huge success of the Tad Dupree's Foundation its annual golf tournament and party each May, and the countless thousands of dollars the Foundation has given to help children with cancer. And Rob Rand and I truly hope to see all of you, many more of you, at Tad's event this May 6th. But today I'm here to encourage you amazing and dedicated planners, organizers, event stagers, and fundraisers, while never flagging in your heart touching to our family efforts in memory of Tad through Tia's foundation to also bring that phenomenal enthusiasm back to Tad's and your alma mater. Randolph Macon needs you. Monetary contributions are of course vital to the success of our college and we greatly need and welcome your donations as we continue to make monumental improvements to our facilities and approach an exciting capital campaign. But we also need your attendance at all RMC events, your willingness to serve on RMC boards, your help with raising funds for Randolph-Macon, your recruitment of prospective students, your acceptance of RMC students into internships with your companies, and your never-ending verbal support of RMC to every person you encounter in your personal or professional life. And of course, you need to shop much more frequently at the RMC bookstore. My personal job security depends on your business. So welcome back to RMC, alums of the 90s. I predict that your contributions to our college will rival, no, surpass those of any prior decades. You, my truly special ones, are in my opinion, the great hope of Randolph Macon's future and I mean that with all my heart. I will never forget the fabulous event the college held for you last Saturday night, and I hope that you won't either. I'm looking forward to being with all of you much more frequently at the greatest small liberal arts college in the country, your school and mine, Randolph-Macon College. There's no doubt in my mind that in the year 2030 or even before, when the college heaps accolades on its movers and shakers and leaders, you graduates of the 90s will be recognized as Randolph Macon's champion supporters of all times. Please come to see me and email me pictures of you and your children to put on display in the bookstore. And never, ever, ever forget that I love you with all my heart. Go Jackets and go Macon grads of the 90s.